going on with you guys? Thank you for tapping in with me again today. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Cleveland. So uh, I'm back at it, y'all. We back at it. I have a response video. I have a response video. Spencer Daggett has an excellent question. The question is, what is my recommendation minimum tank size for a Tesla to eel? I thought it was an excellent question. So instead of me just answering in the comments, I decided to make a video on it. I'm pretty sure he's not the only one that would have that question. I mean, I would have that question. So let's take a look at our Tesla to eel. All right, this is my Tesla to eel test. Pardon the algae on the glass. We've had tests for about two and a half years now. He's not even two foot yet. He may be pushing about two foot. But test a lot of eels, they get pretty big. They get five foot, get massive. Size of a baseball bat. I cannot wait to see this guy at that size. Now, this is a 225 gallon aquarium. I have him in here with my yellow head eel, who is pretty much. I don't want to say he's full grown, but he's pretty big. He's about two foot. As you can see, very thick, healthy. Look at him. Beautiful, beautiful. Now this, now this yellow head eel, I would say this yellow head could live in this 225 for life. Easy, no problem. He's not going to get much bigger than that. Probably already at max length. They only get two foot. Now this Tesselata. They get five foot in length, much bigger than this. I would say minimum tank size for a full grown five foot Tesla eel, I would say at least 300 gallon. I mean, I'm pretty sure somebody else will say much bigger than that, but I'm talking about the right dimensions. I'm not talking about a tall, aquarium i'm talking about the right the right footprint i'm talking about either 10 foot or eight foot this is a 240 right here i think the eight foot in length is good but if we are talking about a five foot eel maybe we would need something like a five foot i mean 500 gallon aquarium these guys are going to get moved into a 15 probably 1600 gallon aquarium that I plan on building right here, a plywood. I'm gonna build it five foot tall. It'll be seven foot in length, and then it'll be six foot in width. And uh, yeah, with a nice window in the front, maybe a window on the side, I don't know. But uh, nonetheless, that's where they're going, 1600 gallon. Then we'll have some other fish moving into this aquarium right here. So, uh, yeah, so that's what we have going on. So, yeah, that's my, that would be my recommendation. My recommendation for a full-grown five-foot Tesla eel, I would say 500 gallons maybe. And because the reason why I'm saying that is because I'm sure you're going to have them in there with other fish, other fish. But if you have a 300-gallon and you don't have it stocked with very large fish, you might be able to get away with that. You might be able to get away with it. The eels don't really move around much unless they're ready to eat or they're roaming around the tank. Most people say that they jump out and climb out and all that. Check it out. I don't recommend that you do it this way. I'm not actually just doing it this way. I actually probably would cover it up, but I leave it open. My eels don't even try to come out at all. They could, they'd be on the floor. Uh, but anyway, so like I was saying, long as you have maybe like an eight foot aquarium for a five foot eel, you'll be good. Anything bigger than that, amazing. Anything bigger than 300 gallons, amazing. Three to 500 gallons. But like I said, this is this eel is already two and a half years old. Or well, older than that, but I've had them two and a half years and uh, still able to be in this aquarium. I would assume for the probably. I mean, I, I wouldn't, I mean, I'm in no rush to get him out of here. Let's put it like that. I don't think I need to rush to get him out of here at all. I would suspect that I could keep him in here for another couple of years if I wanted to. So I hope that answers your question though. 
before I go, what else can I tell you about eels? So they're definitely nocturnal. They don't have the best sight. They look a lot more aggressive and mean than what they really are. I feel like they're beautiful. I mean, look at this eel. I mean, look at the teeth. The teeth will have you feeling a little nervous. And then it tests a lot of, I mean, he's getting, he's getting big. Look how fat his head is now. Almost uh, the thickness of a, of a baby's bottle. Yeah. I think that's a good analogy. A real dad one, right? All right, so yeah. Um, so this is like one of the main, I don't want to say it's a myth, but one of the main things that I would really point out that you don't always have to believe that. You don't always have to believe that your eels are going to climb out, jump out. Only if they are in a small aquarium, if they're being bothered, then they'll be more jumpy. They'll be trying to get out, things like that. At least that, that's just from my experience. And I've only been keeping eels for a few years now. Probably like, probably like four years. But anyway, I hope I was able to answer that question thoroughly. And I also hope that I was able to give you some other information on these beautiful creatures. Because I mean, these, I, I love these fish. I feel like if you have a saltwater aquarium, you have to have an eel. And there's so, there's so many different types of eels. I mean, yeah. My holy grail is the Japanese dragon eel. All right, so I hope that answers your question, Spencer. It, again, it was an excellent question. I hope that helped more than him. And uh, I hope that helped somebody else out there. And if it did, and this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And uh, everybody, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button for me one time. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Peace.